Today we are cutting paper on the K40 laser cutter. If you want to cut something on the laser cutter, it's the easiest to start with the vector graphic. We often use the free resources from vectorportal.com. Also this time we found there a nice tribal style turtle as a free download. We import the file into Inkscape. To avoid some work, we ungroup the turtle graphic, draw a rectangle across half of the turtle and go to Path, Difference, to cut away half of the piece. Now we only work on one half and mirror it later. If we would cut the turtle like it is, we would have a lot of loose pieces that we have to arrange manually. We therefore try to connect everything white with the surrounding paper. With the node edit tool in Inkscape, which is the second button on the left hand side, we enlarge some of the shapes and remove the area from the surrounding parts with part difference. We can also use additional shapes such as this circle to cut away a part from the form. Sharp corners can be selected with the node edit tool and are removed with the delete key. We continue to move the shapes around, enlarge them and make sure everything is connected. Are you able to spot the one part that we missed? After all the white areas are connected to the paper, we duplicate and mirror the half turtle. The two halves are merged with part union. The intersection of these two parts needs a few fixes. We then add a quote from Aesop to the right hand side of the page. As a font you want to use a stencil font, so you don't have to puzzle the individual parts of the letters. We add a few more decorative elements and the file is ready to be sent to the laser. The laser is set as low as possible and we put a relatively thick piece of paper on the bed. In K40 Whisperer the speed is set to 55mm per second and we watch the laser cutting. We carefully remove the loose pieces. Fine tweezers are a big help. On the one hand side they are helpful to pick loose parts. They are also helpful to stabilize the part you want to keep if the cutout is still connected. Now you can also see the part that we missed in Inkscape. We add a few dabs of glue to hold the contrasting papers together and lastly glue in the missing centerpiece. If you have a K40 laser or think about getting one, have a look at our series of setup and optimization videos. Also don't forget to subscribe to keep up with new videos and follow us on Instagram for a look at future projects.